Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, quick video I wanted to do for you guys. Actually just up here at my commercial site and just monitoring the whole place and quite honestly looking for a uh, refreeze and just seeing if Mike needs to do a salt run, anything like that. We're just out and about. Got some Panda Express. Who doesn't like some good Panda Express, right? Actually wanted to do a just a short and sweet video for you guys, giving you my two cents uh, about a snow plowing topic and that is how long to do snow removal runs. Now, I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of uh, opinion about this topic, so by the end of the video, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, and it was actually inspired by one of you guys leaving a comment uh, on a video we just did where you guys saw Liz and I uh, plowing our commercial sites late night. And the question was, how long do we does it take for us to do our snow uh, plow runs, and how long, um, do we think is a good time to stay out there doing snow removal runs, i.e., how long are we out there for? Now, for me personally, full disclosure, we have 40 residentials that we do, outside of all the extra onesie twosies where people wave us down and ask if we can plow their stuff, right? Which adds up, so generally speaking, I take that on. We have three commercial sites, about this size or bigger. You guys can see, it's a big strip mall. Uh, so each one of those takes about an hour. And then with all the residentials as well, it's about six hours. So total combined, six plus three, is about nine hours. Now, actually, we can do it a lot faster. So we can do it in probably about six to eight hours realistically. Now, if it was two days ago when we got a little two-inch clipper that came through uh, and it ended at 7 a.m., I was just ranting on Instagram because every Tom, Dick, and Harry was out there uh, driving and it should have been a snow emergency day where I feel a lot of people should have held back. Uh, a lot of people have different opinions. I'm not saying the world stops for the snowplow people, right? But at the end of the day, some people are going out to get their Starbucks and uh, you know make a, a grocery run at you know nine in the morning, and I'm like, what are you doing, right? Get out of the way. But anyway, I'm just having fun. Uh, but the question that I thought or I wanted to propose to you guys was, how long do you guys do your snow removal run? So I know for uh, a lot of you guys, you have 10 and 12 and 15 hour snow removal runs, and that's cool, and I get it, and it's and it makes sense. Uh, and then I go uh, the other side of the spectrum where I see uh, a lot of folks have six, eight, 10 uh, hour snow removal runs, and I get it, and it makes sense. And then here's my thought. The, the thought I had was, I see some of you guys out there for 24, 32, 36, 48 hours, like literally straight. And I get that too. So one, I wanted your guys' opinion too, but the other one was I wanted to just give you guys my thought process on it. Now, again, this is my second year doing snow removal. I, I'm not the authority, okay? I did a rookie video or two last year just giving my thoughts, and I don't think there's really a wrong uh, answer or a right answer. I think you gotta do what makes the most sense for you. I will say this though. I don't think it matters how long you're out there as much as it matters how much money you're making. Again, don't confuse uh, busyness with productivity. Now, I'm not saying that the folks that are out there for 48 hours aren't being productive. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying there's no right or wrong answer because you have to decide what makes sense for you. For some of you guys, you might be able to do uh, snow removal runs for eight hours and clean up. Like, let's just say, for example, uh, and this is pretty cool. These are just basic numbers, but on a base plow push from one to three inches for all my commercial sites, it adds up to about 500 bucks. Uh, 40 residential sites at $40 a push. Now I do a seasonal prepay, but if we break it down, it's almost like 37 to $40 a push. So if we take the 40 times 40 is 1600, plus my base rate of 500 basically to do my three commercial sites, that's a $2,100 day gross. And if that happens three or four times a month, that's okay, that's not bad, that's not a bad start. Now, I'm also not talking about salting, because I don't do that. I have my subcontractor friend, Mike, who does all that. Very thankful, by the way. And eventually, I'm sure we'll get into the salt game, okay, so relax. So, 2,000 bucks in a night, in six, eight hours, that's, that's not really that bad. By the way, it's freezing cold out here, right? But uh, it is what it is, you gotta do the videos when you can, right? Um, so, all things being said, I'm kinda curious your guys' thoughts. Now, now here's the deal. At the end of the day, if you want to go out there and make 8,000 bucks in a night or over 48 hours, I think that's totally fine. I think the point of the video that I wanted to communicate was you can make good money in 6, 8, 10, 12 hours uh, doing snow removal. You don't have to be out there for 18 hours straight. Now, again, just by saying that, I know somebody's going to be like, 
well, Brian, uh, I can do 18 hours straight and 24 hours straight and I can make $5,000 in a night. And I get that and that's totally fine. Remember, when I was 18, 19, 20 years old, I could go for two days straight as well. Now that I'm 32, eight to 10, 12 hours is just fine for me, okay? And we make enough money where we're not sweating bullets. You know, my analogy or my perspective is, I'd say 12 hours is a pretty good window if you're gonna do a snow removal run. And here's my thought process, because if it gets done snowing at 5 p.m. in the afternoon, you kinda have until five or six a.m. the next day to essentially have everything done, a good 12 hours. So if you're getting done at 5 p.m., the snowstorm's getting done at 5 p.m., and you have everything done at 5 a.m. the next morning, everybody who's leaving their house to go to work, or all the commercial folks, when they get to work and all their uh, parking lots are done, then everything is pretty much wrapped up. And the other side of that too is that if you have a snowstorm that continues to persist through the day, or you get done with half your route and then snow banding or uh, banding happens and clipper systems come through and you got another three inches and you almost have to restart, that gets tough when you're doing 18 hour runs because it just starts cycling back over itself and you never really seem to get ahead. But again, it's not how long you're out there, it's how much money are you making. So it really just depends on your numbers. I know what I need to make to pay my family bills, to pay all my equipment overhead, which thankfully is very minimal, uh, what I need to do to make money. So that's what we always talk about on my channel is knowing your numbers and knowing what you need to make to stay profitable. Now, for all you young guys out there that 18, 19, 20, dude, if you can go out there for 18 to 24 hours straight and all you need is coffee and Culver's, yeah, I'm all about that life, that's awesome. <laughs> but it's just like the analogy of could you marathon drive 24 hours straight to Florida? Sure, if you're from Michigan, 24 hours straight, yeah. But it also makes sense to drive 12 hours, get a hotel, and break that trip up into two segments, two sections. So I guess that's just what I'm trying to say is that could you marathon things? Sure. Could you do that with snow removal? Sure. But you got to remember to rest. We're always eating like crap when we're doing snow removal. That's a fact. We're living on Wendy's and fast food and energy drinks. And the older you get, the worse your nutrition is, of course, the, the less sharp you're going to be. And that's when accidents start happening. And I'm really cognizant of that. I'm, I always want to promote conservative uh, uh, ideas to you guys, conservative agendas to you guys, where I don't want to see anybody ever get hurt. So you'll never say, hear me say, go 24 hours straight and plow and, and that's your window to make money. It is, but you've got to filter it through a brain cell as well. And I say that with love and respect, that you don't want to be out there for 24 hours straight and start getting into dangerous situations. Now, if you can go 18 hours straight doing all your commercial or residential, and then there's other sites that you can go for the next six hours or wrap up, you can go home, take a nap, and then go back out the next day and do strip malls or industrial co uh, complexes or commercial parks that don't need it immediately, by all means, cash in. There's stuff that we do uh, over that first 24 hours immediately, and then there's definitely sites that we could go do that don't need it for two days later because they're vacant or they're or they're closed up or whatever, um, or they're not high risk or high use, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up because my hands are numb, I'm freezing cold. Uh, I just got done eating Panda Express and I feel like I wanna go take a nap because I got the three plate special. And if you watch my channel, you also know that we're no stranger to talking about food. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap that up. How long is your average snow removal run? Again, no right or wrong answer. I'm just trying to give you guys my perspective. Somebody left a really good comment. And if you guys got questions like that, leave them in the comment section down below because I love answering questions like that. I don't think anybody's really talked about snow removal run times, at least not lately. So, all right, that's over now, guys. I'm freezing cold. Hit the like button for me. Do it for the cold, do it for the gram, do it for YouTube. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Over now. Bye bye.